So should you make a full game using Unity's dots and ECS? Personally, I think you should, but Unity says you shouldn't. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why that is. If you weren't already aware, Unity's ECS, the Entity Component System, gives us a new way to program games where we logically separate out entities, components, and systems. If you do want some more information on ECS and some of the main concepts of DOTS, the Data-Oriented Technology Stack, check out this video that I made where I go over all the key features coming to DOTS and what they all mean. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why Unity says you shouldn't make a game using ECS, but I say you should. And I'm gonna go a step further than that. And I'm actually gonna put my money where my mouth is and I'm going to create a game using Unity ECS. And you might be able to play it sooner than you might think. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can get some more information on the game and when you'll be able to play it. Anyways, if you do enjoy this video and you find it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos on the Unity Entity Component System and a whole bunch of new features coming to the Unity Game Engine. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. So for starters, why does Unity say that you shouldn't use ECS? Now, I should kind of clarify here what they mean by that when they say that is it's not necessarily production ready and you shouldn't be relying on it to give you the most stable results for a game because at the time of recording this video unity ecs is still within the preview phases and they're going through a lot of changes i know even since i started making videos about ecs up until now a lot of things have changed and the way we do things is just a little bit different than it was before so they're pretty much saying that to set your expectation for how the experience of developing with ecs is going to be and also some of these reasons are probably the same reasons for why we don't see a whole lot of documentation and official Unity tutorials on ECS because they know that things are going to be rapidly changing because it's still kind of in the preview and development phase. Now, of course, Unity is not saying that you shouldn't experiment with dots in ECS. Of course, they wouldn't release it to the public if they didn't want you to do that. But again, they're just setting the expectation, saying that it's not ready for, you know, the masses of game developers to, you know, everyone to switch over to ECS and start being making it that the way that they make video games from now on. So now, why do I say that you should should make a full game using Unity ECS? Well, it really comes down to is experience and exposure. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably not running some high budget game studio. You're probably part of a smaller team or maybe you're a solo developer trying to build up your own skills, which makes you the perfect candidate for someone to create and release a full game using Unity ECS. Yes, I mean create and release a full game. So of course, making a game using any kind of framework, whether it be object-oriented programming or any type of game engine you want, you're gonna gain a whole bunch of experience. And naturally in doing so, you're gonna be really familiar with the development tools that you use to create that game. Now, Unity's gone on to say that they're rebuilding a whole bunch of the core of their game engine to work off this whole data-oriented framework. So if you have kind of have that experience of creating and releasing a full game, that's really gonna put you ahead of everyone else when the data-oriented technology stack and entity component system go into a full released state. And because of this, it's probably something that you should start familiarizing yourself with sooner rather than later. Also, if you're a little newer to game development and you're working on like your first, second, or third game, the scope of your game should be really, really small at this stage. So even if things start do changing with ECS and maybe things start breaking, it's not gonna be as hard for you to go in and fix those issues as it would be if you're part of some much bigger development team and there's a bunch of complex systems that are all interworking. And the other thing that creating and releasing a game using ECS has the potential of giving you is some decent exposure. So if we go over to Unity's website, you can see that they highlight some games that are made using the Entity Component System and Data Oriented Technology Stack. Now, these are obviously not really commonly used because you know they're still in the preview phases right now. And so it is pretty unique if you can make a game using DOTS and ECS. So that's something that Unity might recognize you for and be able to highlight on their website. If you're making a game using ECS, you could also gain the attention of other websites who are maybe interested in unique ways to develop games or you get promoted on some kind of social media accounts and that'll help get some more eyes on your game. Also, if you do make a game using ECS and get known for being an ECS developer, 
it's gonna be really easy for you to land a job once ECS starts going into the full production phases. As certain companies who are interested in making a game using DOTS and ECS want to start hiring more developers, obviously the demand for those developers is gonna go up. And because it's such a new technology, you know, there's probably not gonna be a whole lot of experienced people in ECS. So that's definitely gonna give you a major leg up on the competition. So those are the main reasons why I think that you should make a game using ECS. Now, um, about that game that I'm making using ECS. So this weekend from April 17th to the 19th is the Ludum Dare Game Jam. And the Ludum Dare Game Jam is one of my favorite game jams. I try to participate in it as many times as I can. The gist of it is there's basically two sections you can enter. There's kind of the compo, which is the jam on hard mode where you pretty much do everything within 48 hours and you have to do it all yourself. And then there's the jam, which is a 72 hour game jam where you make a game over the course of 72 hours, but you're allowed to use outside assets and you can work with other people on your team. Now, I always participate in the compo section because that's a little bit more fun for me. And I always try to do something um, that I've never done before to kind of push myself and expand my skills as a developer. And so this time is no different and I'm gonna be putting my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna be making a full game using Unity ECS over this 48 hour game jam, which um, sounds like a great idea, right? So we'll see how things go this weekend and my opinions on whether or not you should make a game using ECS may change depending on my results. So I'll definitely keep you updated on that. But I think this is a really great opportunity for me to put my skills to the test and really see if I can make a full game using ECS. And I'm probably gonna be using a little bit of mono behaviors because that's kind of the way things go at this point but I'm really gonna try and use as much ECS as I can. I want ECS to be kind of the core mechanics of the game. But at this point, I really have no idea what I'm gonna end up creating. I've been kicking around a few ideas of potential things that I might be able to do, but we'll see what I end up really deciding I'm making once the theme is announced on the 17th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And so now that I'm putting this out there, I pretty much have to do it now. I, I wanted to make this video so I could kind of guarantee to force myself to actually make a game using dots and ECS and not um, kind of think that I was going to do that and then go into the jam and then decide to do something uh, completely different just using traditional Unity programming. But anyways, assuming that I actually finish this game, it'll be available for you to play for free on my itch.io page. So I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check out some of the other games I've made while you're waiting for me to make this uh, new Dots game. I also put a community post up here on YouTube so you know when the game is live and you can try it out for yourself. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that post. But I'm really excited to see what I come up with and I hope you will all enjoy playing it. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos on you know, the ECS, the data-oriented technology stack and all sorts of other cool features come into Unity. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.